Those of you that don't know me, my name is Mark, and I'm from America. And uh, this is my idea to have a cooking class where I try to cook some of the food that I like in America that you don't really eat that much here, or maybe that you don't even know of here. And so uh, today, um, I would like to start off with one of my favorite breakfasts. I think breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And uh, it's very, very common in America to have what we call pancakes. I know you might call them lean chick here. But what we call, what we call, uh, what you call blean chick, we call crepes, which is very thin pancakes. So today I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook pancakes, and it's very quick, it's very simple, it's not very expensive. However, it is fattening. Can someone tell me what is fattening? Does anyone know? Give an adjective. Is this right? Fattening. Fattening. Something that makes you fat. Yes. It's, it's, I wouldn't say this is unhealthy food, but it does have a lot of calories. You guys know calories? Mm -hmm. Calories, okay. There is, we have a saying, a minute on the lips, forever on the hips. <laughs> you know what this means? <laughs> it means it may taste really good here, but it's gonna end up right here, or right here. <laughs> anyway, so today, um, I ha you have the re we have the recipe here, so we're gonna read the recipe first, and we're gonna go through if there's any words that you don't understand, then we'll talk about these words, and then uh, get our hands dirty, and hopefully, Make some pancakes. The thing about pancakes, I think also with bean chick, there's, you can put lots of different toppings and things on them or in them. We have three different words we call pancakes. The most common is pancakes. Some people call them flapjacks, and some people call them hot cakes. But they're all the same thing. They're pancakes. So we start off with two cups of flour, and this is the imperial measurement because this is what I'm used to. It's cups, tablespoons, teaspoons, right? Ounces. This is imperial measurement. We can thank England for that. Um, so I, had, I basically converted it into grams and milliliters where needed. So it starts off two cups of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder. If you don't know what baking powder is, this is what it is. I can't pronounce this word. It's a really long word, but it makes, it makes stuff rise. We're going to melt it right now. So we need, I think, 57 grams of butter, which is basically half. So we're just going to use half here. It doesn't have to be exact. Small ones, but it really doesn't matter what size these are. You can make them any size you want. You can put fresh fruit. You can put you can put candy. You can put vegetables. You can put anything you like. It's up to you. Much for gathering us together here and for showing all these interesting things that we uh, didn't know before. So I hope we will meet again next week and. After that, afterwards, and cook and create something, something beautiful as today. Thank you. Uh, thank you for these pancakes. It's really tasty. It's simple, and it's really good. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, the uh, cooks, and uh, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mark, for this little lesson. It was very tasty and interesting. You're welcome. Mm, finally, it was first our cooking class. Thank you, Mark, for this. And um, I suppose that we don't gain gain weight uh, for the next <laughs> time. The proverb. Say that again. It's uh, a, a minute. A minute on the lips, forever on the hips. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mark, for this lesson. It was very interesting, and uh, your food is really tasty. We have uh, analog in, in our culture, but it tastes a little bit different. Yeah, that was really interesting to compare um, what we have in our in, you, in in our tradition and in American tradition. And actually, uh, this class uh, inspired me because I need inspiration to cook. You know. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Mark. I really enjoyed helping you out here and talking to the students. I hope we will meet next time pretty soon. So and we'll have another really tasty meal together. Thank you very much. So, what would you like to say? To Mark. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Yummy. Thank you very much. Yummy. You're welcome very much. <laughs>